filled with the Holy Spirit, we join with the church in every place, praying for the world that God so loves. Abba, when we cry to you, your spirit bears witness with our spirit. Give to your church the confidence of the children of God, so that we boldly share with everyone your world-saving love. Hear us, O oh God. Hear us, The whole earth is full of your glory. Cities teem, fields flourish, mountains soar, and waters abound. Blot out our sin of spoiling your creation. Send us to go for you, mending what is torn and tattered in your world. Hear us, O oh God. You so love the world that you gave your only Son in these days when nation condemns nation. Save us. Give us strength and fill us with your justice and peace. Hear us, O oh God. Your people cry out to you, seeking the goodness and hope of your holiness. Let the wind of your spirit blow into the lives of all who suffer from injustice, want, or anguish of any kind. We pray especially for healing for Marge, for comfort for Tom and his family, comfort for Nancy's aunt's fa family, comfort for Viola's family and the, and the Manginelli family, and for healing for Carol Ortiz. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. In our living and in our dying, we belong to you. In loving remembrance, we honor those who live with scars who are, or have died defending our nation. Beat our swords into plowshares and our spears into pruning hooks and teach us your ways. Hear us, O oh God. We pray especially for our congregation and for Pastor Paul as we each enter into this period of transition. We say a prayer of thanksgiving for all fathers, and we pray for high school students as they uh, prepare for the regents and teachers as they prepare for grading. With affection, we remember the saints now departed and rejoice in their faithful witness, especially John Calvin, renewer of the church. Through their example, pro provoke us to holy lives of loving service in your name. Hear us, O oh God. Merciful God, you hear the prayers of your people even before they're spoken. We commend these and all our prayers to you, trusting in your abundant mercy through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, who forgives all our sin, whose mercy endures forever. Amen. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Gracious God, have mercy on us. We confess that we have turned from you and given ourselves into the power of sin. We are truly sorry and humbly repent. In your compassion, forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things we have done and things we have failed to do. Turn us again to you and uphold us by your Spirit, so that we may live and serve you in the peace of life. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. God, who is rich in mercy, loved us even when we were dead in sin and made us alive together with Christ. By grace, you have been saved. In the name of Jesus Christ, your sins are forgiven. Almighty God, strengthen you with power through the Holy Spirit that Christ may live in your hearts through faith. Amen. The peace of the risen Christ be with you always. And also with you. We share a sign of peace with you.